Would you say you're obsessed by the goal? I would say so, yeah. It's, uh, especially if I miss a chance or whatever, it's something, especially if it's an important thing, if we don't win the game or if we draw a game where I should have scored or something like that, it can, it kind of hunts, hunts me, I feel like. But uh, it's a part of it. And it, it's, it has been worse, to be honest. Do you know you are the best scorer of 2020, ex with Mbappé, Ben Yedder and Girassi? And you're the third most efficient player in the league. You just need 3.6 shots to score. It's pretty good, but... Uh, but you want But you more. know, last weekend I should have scored a goal. So that's kind of what's on, the, on my mind. Have you lived depression moments? But you know, that's such a big part of being a professional. Mm -hmm. I think... Uh, there's so many ups and downs all the time. And to be honest, in the beginning, that was kind of difficult for me. It's because, you know, like what, you know, one week everybody can tell how good you are and stuff like that. And then the other week you're nothing, so. Is that the most difficult stuff in, uh, in football? Yeah, sure. For me, it is. Out of the pitch, I think you had a strange year because your watch has been robbed by a, a teammate. Your car has been stolen. Your house burgled. What a year, out yeah, of the pitch. What a year. Felt very bad, bad about it at times. Uh, um, yeah, that's the past now, and maybe I know a little bit better how to <laughs> how to take care of my stuff, even though you know I couldn't do anything about it. Maybe maybe be a bit more aware of things real life. like that. Yeah, real life. Yeah, true. To help us to know you better, some friends of yours, some colleagues, ask you some questions. Okay. Casper, une petite question. Euh, quand j'ai signé à, à Nice, j'ai un coach euh, que j'avais auparavant qui était hollandais qui m'a dit euh, Ah, tu vas rencontrer le, le Iceman. Donc je voulais savoir d'où vient ce surnom, euh, pourquoi, si tu t'es créé un personnage ou c'est juste euh, ton caractère que tu as depuis petit. I think like the first time I was called that was probably when. I scored my first goal in Ajax and I didn't celebrate. Actually, when I look back at it, it's like, it is kind of weird that I don't celebrate, but like, it has never been a thing for me that I should do something or, you know, find my own celebration or whatever. Like, it has just never been a thing. Like, it has never been in my head what to, what to do when I score a goal. And then hopefully, because I score some goals sometimes. <laughs> Casper, tu sais que je suis un grand chambreur, que j'aime bien te, te piquer, te taquiner, mais j'ai remarqué que quand on fait travail devant le but et que je que j'appuie un peu, que je te taquine vraiment beaucoup, ça te met une petite une petite rage et et tu deviens beaucoup beaucoup meilleur. I have to say, there's not a lot of guys who can piss me off like this guy. Like. I don't know what it is with him, but he's just, he can be the, a pain in the ass. But in a good way, you know. He says it makes you better. Exactly, and I think it does. So uh, maybe I should thank him sometime. <laughs> voilà, Casper, j'avais une question suite au, à notre confrontation à Jacques Amsterdam Nice, où tu t'es fait, malheureusement pour toi et, et heureusement pour nous, tu t'es fait éliminer. Tu as la balle du break, tu as la balle du 3-1. Je voulais savoir ce que ça faisait de de t'être présenté face à moi et de, de l'avoir raté. Est-ce qu'aujourd'hui, t'as as encore les boules I am. That's all I have to say about that. Yeah, he's talking about that a lot. Must be a highlight of his life, I guess. Casper, euh, juste te dire que c'est un énorme plaisir de t'avoir comme joueur chez nous, alors déjà sur le plan du football, mais en plus tu as toutes tes qualités humaines et pour un club, c'est formidable. On me dit, tiens, il sourit pas beaucoup. Casper, Smiltak. Yeah, well, that's too easy. <laughs> no. But uh, I've heard that a lot, that I don't smile enough. Uh, um, I think I do. If I find something funny, I laugh, and if I don't find it funny, I don't laugh. I guess that's uh, quite normal as a human. <laughs>